Tuzamuri bigan zamuri mugoro batu goherezi chua hiro. Tragushime, tragushime, tragushime. Tragushime, tragushime. Wenya gora kongoma. Tragushime, tragushime. Owe zinzia chu. Zanmo ibendera yokunesha. Uko aneshe. Ingoma ya wizahora wite karyose. Gami bwa wizahora ho. Gami. Ingoma ya wena kizai hamura. Uzimi gome de hebidashira. Yeah. 
Sugira guru chatu zamu ni ganza dan. Hallelujah. Kwari tiro tu bugango. Urera, urera, urera mana, urera, urera, urera. Imana tiro tu bugoko era kwayo. Uomukuri hura kore shayama sa. Ninira. Amen. Hallelujah. Ubuka tiro tu hume kayama sa. Utagira faktire. Ese murabi ziku yu musi tiri tariki ya nyoma yukwezi. Ubu faktire za mazi zaaje. Faktire za mazi zaaje. Abi te gura kuguru muri rajo wara gura. Izindi faktire zitanu kanye. Ariki mana ya chishime kona faktire. Ame. Uwako ere kawano vifu za mkwezi umunu uuzima uge na chungeru kishora kushira tageze mubitaro. Ame. Kuvura njishu kwezi uri muzima taraja mubitaro. Ili tarojara honge kubgawe nishimeri kometa nivere ima. Bega tukwa muzamuri ili ganzo nani? Yukirimana, imirimo nizuhoro korera 
Amen. 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 Amen.
Yesu turagushira hejuru
And I'm going to give us three reasons I find in scripture. You're free to go and add on your list. Now, before I go into reading the word, I conducted an exercise last week here on campus. And most of us who work here at African New Life, we are actually believers. Most of them are members of New Life Bible Church. So what I did, I printed a statement. Let me have that question here. Maybe some of you understand English, but Richard will help to interpret. Let me have my question in the back here. No. The one with blanks, please. Uh -huh. So I printed this on a piece of paper. And I gave it to several people, almost 20. And I told them, just fill in the blank. So I want you to translate that in Kinyaranda without filling in the blanks. Uh-huh. So each one of them had to feel. Now some of you may be knowing actually the actual answer to this blank. Now each person went on to fill these blanks. I picked 12 answers from the 20 that actually tried to fill. So I want Richard to read for us. Please give me the second slide. The first one, I want you to translate the first one. Number two. Number two. <laughs> Number three. Number four. Number five. 
Number six. <laughs> Number seven. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. Number ten. Number ten. Number eleven. ufite Number twelve. <laughs> I think number 10 wins. <laughs> number 10 filled it said, For me to live is to eat. <laughs> number 13. And to die. Is to gain. Number 14. Open your Bibles. We're going to find the right answer in the verses. I'm going to ask Mr. Richard to read for us Philippians. Philippians chapter 1. Uh -huh. You found the place? Yes. Philippians chapter 1, you read from verses 19 to verse 21. Philippians chapter Ukonzi yuko amaherezo ibyo bizamindukira gakiza munsabiye kandi mpawe umwuka wa Yesu Kristo. Can you read 18 first because I think it cuts off somewhere. Muro bere ku mwa 18. Mbese ibyo bitwa iki? Ntacho kuko uko bimeze kose ari mu buriganya cyangwa muri Kristo yamamazwa kandi ibyo nabishimiye kandi nzagumya kubyishimira. Ukonzi yuko amaherezo ibyo bizamindukira gakiza munsabiye kandi mpawe umwuka wa Yesu Kristo. Kuko ntegerezanya ibyiringiro yuko nazakorwa n'iso n'izi kintu cyose ahubwo nzajya ngira ubushize bw'amanga bwose buzatuma Kristo akomeza gukuzwa n'umubiri wanje iteka ryose nkuko bimeze ubu nubwo nabaho cyangwa nubwo napfa 21 erega kubwanje kubaho ni Kristo. Kubaho niki? Aha, na garu kuriya, right? Ere kuganje, kuganje, kubaho ni Kristu. Kani gufa kumbere inyungu. Amen. Amen. Now, I'm going to illustrate what this verse might mean by a visual. Ubuna na wanje kubereka, eti chitani tujishora kwa jisuanu ye, mungu yobu giyere kwa. I don't think I'll be able to explain it clearly, but you get a picture of what Paul is trying to say. Paul said, for me to live is Christ. And to die is gain. Now to give you a background, he's writing from prison. He's locked up and then he decides to write to the church in Philippi. I want you to imagine someone you know, a minister of God, is in prison. And he's in Rome, the Roman prison. Chances are he might die anytime. But this man, he writes to fellow believers and tells them, You guys don't worry about anything. Because for me, to live is Christ, and even if I die, 
Today is gain. Gufa ni nyungu. Let me explain it. I need a volunteer here. Do you want to come, Alex? Leka mistova no, leka hajiru zaha no. Can you help me open this? Aje kudu fasha gufungura karya karya gakarito. Aha, I'm going to illustrate that using this or not thread or something. Aje gusova no ra icho chani tukwe akore sheje iyini barasas. Aha, Alex, how how many years do you want to live? Urashaka kuba himya kinga himu bzima. Aha. Uh -huh. Alex went to live a hundred years. Alex Pastor in the morning said in 95. So, Pastor like, so imagine this is a hundred years, okay? Just imagine that is a hundred years of your life. Now what Paul is saying that for me to live a hundred years is Christ. Ni Christo. In other words, magambo, every aspect of my life is about Jesus. Everything I'm going to do in a hundred years is about Jesus. My interests, my desires, my drive, my children, my family, everything is about Jesus Christ. For my Years, everything is going to be about this man called Jesus Christ. So he writes to the church, he says, Guess what? For me to live is Jesus Christ. And then he says, But again to die, it is not a loss. It is gain for me. And this is why. Because he understood that even if he dies, he's going to be where Jesus is. And he's going to live with him for eternity. So if this is my hundred years, so he says. For me to live, keep going. Is gain. This thing has been tangling since morning. So try to move as you untangle it. So he says, For me to live, if I die, yes. If I live, it's fine. But even if I die, I continue living with Jesus Christ. I go into eternity because after all Jesus actually is there. And I think that is our good news for us believers. We don't live, we don't live with fear. Because we have someone who already overcame death. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah. So these people when they were trying to answer these questions, all of a sudden it dawned on them. They had to think. For me to live is what? It is a question each one of us is supposed to answer. Why, why are we supposed to put Jesus Christ in the first blank? So through, through scripture, I'm going to give us a few reasons why actually Paul chose to say for me to live is Christ and to die is gain. When you read in uh, uh, Galatians chapter 2 verses 20 
Did you find that? Galatians yes. chapter 2 verse 20? Yes, I'm there. Okay. Can you read for us? Mwena <laughs> Paul says, I have been crucified with Christ. I no longer live. What he was trying to explain that the old Paul has been crucified with Christ. He is now completely a new person. It is no longer him who lives. I think he realized that there was a great exchange on the cross. He says, I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. And he says, the life I live now in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God. And then he says, the one who loved me. And gave himself for me. So why Christ? Because actually Christ loved us. Paul uses the past tense. He says, loved me. He doesn't say he loves me. He said he loved me. And he uses the pronoun me. He doesn't say Christ loved all of us. No, 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 no. He personalizes it and says he loved me. Because he understood where he was coming from. He knew very well that he used to be a kill of believers. He knew very well that he was not a good person before. And then he looked at himself. Serving God. Preaching the good news. And he says he loved me. Me, 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 me. Let me ask you someone this afternoon. Do you actually know that Jesus loves you? Do you even know that he did start loving you today? He loved you before you were even born. So Paul says. The one who loved me. It is like a father who has many children. They can all say that daddy loves us. But the question is, do you know you as an individual know that actually daddy loves you? Do you know that actually daddy loves you? So Paul says, the one who loved me, the one who loved me, the one who loved me, so that is the reason why it has to be Christ in the blank. Because he actually loves us. He loved us then. He loves us now. And the Bible tells me that he will never leave you nor forsake you. So that is our confidence this afternoon. That we have a Savior who actually loves us. He loved us on Monday. He loved us on Tuesday. He loved us on Wednesday. On Thursday, he loved us so much more. He loved us on Friday. He loved us on Saturday. The same person loves us on Sunday. He loved us from January. All the way to December. He loves us when we sleep. When we wake up. When we go to work. 
And it is important for you as a believer to actually embrace that. Paul said, Paul Aravuga, I am the least of the apostles. I don't even deserve to be called an apostle. Because I persecuted the church of God. But then he says. But by the grace of God. I am what I am. Let me ask someone. Am I the only person who is celebrating the grace of God upon my life? Paul said I am what I am because of Christ Let me tell you God has been so good to you The children he has given you The home he has given you The, the way you smell even this afternoon The chair where you sit at the last day Let me tell you, some people have not loved us well. So when we talk about love, it is hard to understand. Because some of us here, maybe love, when you hear love, it's like a horror movie. It is like a nightmare. Because if you're here and you're divorced and you separated and you broke up with your boyfriend, you broke up. <laughs> or maybe you were abused by the very person who married you or maybe you are confused you don't even know where he is or maybe he loved you and married you and abandoned you and left you in the house with the children or maybe Maybe he lied to you or they lied to you. Or maybe they betrayed you. Or maybe it is your parents who don't love you. But I'm here to declare that there is someone who loves us completely and purely. Hallelujah. Amen. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you completely. And Paul also said that he gave himself for me. You can try to love yourself. I see people these days post on status if they do something nice and they say this is self love. They go to a hotel or the very nice meal and then post on WhatsApp and say, This is self love. You can do that, but actually, you cannot give yourself for you. But there is someone who gave himself for your life. It was his choice, no one forced him. That I'm going to die for this person on the cross. Because I love him. Because I love her. So that when they come to heaven. So that they can come to heaven and we be and live together for forever. 
kugira ngo azaze mu ijuru yicarane nange tubane teka Come on don't move around with an empty cup so listing love Nuza nuza nukomeza ugiye nagiye nufite agacupa agakombe kari mu busa ushakisha urukundo You know some people they, they solicit Urabiza abantu bamwe bagenda bashakisha bahiga If you don't if you're not confident in the love of of our God you 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 live complaining all the time Iyo ubayeho utishimira urukundo rw'Imana ufite ubaho buri gihe cyose ufite kwitotomba Even when you're married you don't feel you're loved enough Niyo uri mu rushako wumva udakunzwe bihagije Let me tell you no one can love you enough Reka mubwire nta muntu ushobora kugukunda urukundo rwuzuye Because people have their own problems they are dealing with Kubera ko buri muntu afite ibibazo byarwana nabyo Some of the people you should forgive them and live your life and be happy Abantu bamwe muri mwe bamwe mu buzima bwa ugomba kuba babarira ukabaho ubuzima bwa wishimye Because someone else has loved us fully and completely And one wants to give Jesus praise this afternoon. We thank him for his love. We thank him for his mercy and his grace upon our lives. Number two. Why Christ? Because he's a perfect example. Kubera yuko nurugero rudafite amakemwa. First Corinthians 11 verses 1 to 2 says Abakorinto bambere igice cya 11 verses 1 to 2 Umurungu wa mbere kugeza kuwa kabiri. It says imitate me just as I also imitated Christ. Haravuga ngo munyigane nkuko nigana Kristo. When we look at our lives if we look at Christ Iyo turebye ubuzima bwawe bwacu tuburebeye muri Kristo. Actually we can overcome each and everything. Twaba batsinzi twatsinda buri kintu cyose. If we just look at Christ and then live our lives. Turebye Kristo gusa twaranyiza tugahitamo kubaho ubuzima bwacu. We can actually live a better life that gives him glory because he's 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 the one we are emulating and imitating. Twabaho ubuzima bwiza twabaho ubuzima budafite ibibazo kubera ko niwe niwe turimo kwigana Because Christ gives teaches us to give Kubera ko Kristo atwigisha kubaho He teaches us to give he gave himself Atwigisha gutanga kubera ko nawe yari itanze Christ teaches us to love people Kristo atwigisha gukunda abantu To love even those ones that, are, that don't deserve our love Ukunda nabo ngabo badakwiriye urukundo rwacu. Can you imagine Jesus had Judas Iscariot on the team? Mwibaze yuko mwibaze mwumve namwe. Kristo yari afite Judas Iscariot kuri ya chipe ye yinumwa yari afite. And the whole time he knew that he would betray him. Kandi yari abizi gihe cyose babanye yuko azamugambanira. And we don't see him treat him differently. Kandi nako twigeze tubona amufata bitandukanye nuko yafataga abantu. He knew that Peter would deny him. He knew that all of them would abandon him. But he still loved them amazingly. Through Christ we learn to to be humble. The Bible tells us that he humbled himself and washed his disciples feet. Bibiliya iravuga ngo yaciye bugufi kugeza nubwo yogeshe ibirenge by'intumwa ze. Through Christ we learn to endure things hard things. Bicye muri Kristo twiga kwihanganira ibintu ubuzima. To endure without giving up. Bitwigisha kwihanganira ibyo ducamo ntitunanirwe. Because we see him in the garden of Gethsemane he is praying till when his sweat becomes blood. Kubera yuko tumubona ari mu muri mu Gethsemane asenga abiri byuya bivanze namaraso. We don't see him for giving up on us. Jesus was so merciful that the day he died, he forgave a thief that was crucified next to him. Yesu yari umunyamabazi cyane kugeza n'ubwo no kumusaraba yababari gisambo cyari iruhande rwe. Come on Jesus never gave up on his purpose that he had come to die for our sins. Mwumve Yesu nabo yigeza cogora ngo areke umugambe wari wamuzanye wo kuducungura. Jesus endured mockery. Yesu yihanganirie nikuze no no nigituro. Mokari. Mokari to mock. Yihanganirie gutukwa. 
He he endured false accusations. He endured severe beatings. He he endured people who spat on him. He endured people who scourged his body. Professional soldiers who beat him. When we look at Christ, we can actually live our lives. We can look at Christ and then leave. We can look at Christ and then leave. You can live, look at Christ and forgive someone. You can look at Christ and help those children that are not at your husband's children. You, if you look at Christ, you can learn to be humble. Amen. So Christ is the perfect example we have in scripture. We can actually look at him and do our lives like people who know him. Number three. Why Christ? Because of who he is. He's matchless. He's matchless, incomparable. He's the King of Kings. He's the Lord of Lords. He's our Redeemer and our Savior. He, the Bible calls him Wonderful Counselor. He's a mighty God. He's our everlasting Father. The Bible calls him the Prince of Peace. The Bible says he's the way, the truth, and the life. The Bible calls him the true vine. Come on, the Bible says he's the good shepherd. The Bible says the bread of life. His name means anointed. Come on, don't ask me why I choose Jesus. He is everything. Because if I don't choose him, whom should I choose? Because it's everything we desire and need. Come on, give him praise. Now wait, 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 wait. Let's talk about his name. Hey! Hallelujah. Let's talk about the name Jesus. Let me tell you, a person is his name. A person is his name. A person is his name. The Bible tells me that and being found in appearance as a man. He humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death. Even the death on the cross. And this is what happened. And therefore, God also has exalted him and given him a name that is above every name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. I'm here to speak to other names. I want to speak about other names. I want to speak to all other names. Every name they have given you in the neighborhood. Every name the doctor has given you to the disease you have. Where the cancer. Where the old timers. Where the diabetes. Where the high blood pressure? Let me tell you, I want to speak to every name in the house. To bow at the name of the that is above every other name. And let every tongue confess that Christ is Lord. 
Listen, listen. We are talking about the name of Jesus. The Bible tells me in Acts chapter 4, verse 12. Acts chapter 4, verse 12. In Acts chapter 4, verse 12. In Acts chapter 4, verse 12. In Acts chapter 4, verse 12. That salvation is found in no one else. There is no other name given under heaven given to mankind by which we must be saved. All of us are here because of the name Jesus Christ. He changed our status. He changed our history. He turned the page of our lives. He made us beautiful. He gave us influence in the city. Come on, lift Jesus high. Listen one more time. The Bible tells me that one day Peter and John they were going to the temple and at the entrance there was a beggar who was lame from birth he had never walked he was used to begging people the Bible says they used to lift him every morning and put him at the entrance but this time when he begged, he, he begged people that had known someone else. They told him, Look at us. Look at us. Silver or gold we don't have. But what we have, we give you. In the name of Jesus. And the Bible tells me that he entered the temple with them. Let me tell you someone. Sometime Jesus shows up at the right time. And the Bible says he entered the temple with Peter and John. And, and then the Bible says when they looked at him, they recognized him. They said, that is the man that used to sit at the table. Let me tell you, all of us are like that man. We are walking in the temple of our Lord and our King. We are celebrating and singing and praising him. And people can tell that is the very woman. They look at how you look and they're like, she's the very woman. What happened to her? Her children never used to go to school. What happened to her? What happened to this woman? What happened to this man? What happened in that family? Let me tell you what happened. Jesus happened. Hallelujah. All of us here. We are witnesses of what he has done. He has healed us. He has covered us. Sometimes Jesus just covers you. And your enemies can't know your problems. Sometimes Jesus covers you through seasons. Sometimes Jesus covers you through seasons. And people don't know. They don't know what you're going through. Because you don't look like your problems. Come on, give him praise. The Bible says when they pulled Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego from the fire, that they didn't smell smoke. 
That is a mystery. Sometimes we don't smell like the problems we are going through. <laughs> Hallelujah. Sometimes you don't even smell like the problems you've just come through. You don't look like your problem. Do you know why? Because the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Come on, stand up on your feet Just Just Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey. Sometimes you just dance with no music. Some, someone just sees you in the neighborhood. Someone can see you in the neighborhood. And you have your song inside you. And you are moving like this. And you are dancing. Because there is a secret between you. And oh God. Hallelujah. The Bible says me I'm almost closing. That the name of the Lord is a strong tower. <laughs> hey. Hallelujah. The Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower, it's not weak. And the Bible says, The righteous ran to this tower. I don't know what is chasing you. But I'm going to direct you where you're supposed to go. The Bible says, The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it. Oh, they are safe. They are safe. Hey. There is a woman in the Bible. For her, she said, Where I don't have to touch his face. No. If I can just touch like. I believe I will heal completely. And then you ask me why Jesus? You can't ask me the question. You can't ask me that question. Yeah, because he's everything. In him we find our healing. What can I say? What can I leave? But Myers was blind and had Jesus was passing by. And he said, Son of David. And they told him, Be quiet. And he said, Son of David. Let me tell Jesus hears your voice in a crowd. Yes, Listen, let me say it again. Jesus can actually hear your voice, you alone. Yes, You, you alone, you. And it's like that is Richard calling. He can say that is Richard. That is Betty calling my name. That is Barbara calling my name. 
That is the Lisa calling my name. That is Sarah calling my name. That is the Mathilda calling my name. That is Mediatrice calling my name. Come on, call Jesus. What can we say? He's the only reason. You may have your seats, I'm almost closing. But no, 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 don't sit. Let me read this last chapter because I feel I've just started. Listen. I'm going to read Revelation chapter 1, verses 12 to 18. I want you to read it in Kinyaranda. He's the only reason. His glory supersedes every other glory on this planet. He's incomparable, he's beautiful, he's awesome. Can you read for us Revelation chapter 1, verses 12 to 18? And this is John. Some of you don't know John, but John was the last disciple to die of the twelve. After he lived long, God allowed him to see things. He saw things that we don't even fully understand. Among the things he saw, this is what he's going to read. He saw seven angels standing before Changwa na shereji na maso ye ya saga nebili mubiju murilo Chumina gata anu Ibile njebje bisa nu muringa Ibile njebje bisa nu muringa Umu teche Utunga njizwe nu murilo Umu ruganda Njizwe rje jari ni mezegi hirja mazi menshi asuma Mkumo kwa kwe kiburijo yara afashe nye nye rinwi Mkarake hava mo ingota ischaye ifite uhuji imande zombi Mumaso hii hali hameze nizu wa iyo nifichaye. Mumo nyenyo mikuwiti mbele ngufuye. Anshira hukuwa kukiburjo alamirati. Witinya. Witinya. Nuhuwa mbele. Kani nuhuwa imeruka. Kani nuhuwa raho. Ichakora narina lafuwi. Alikuwa naone dole mwana hii teka liyose. Hallelujah. Kani fitifungu zonzurufu nisi kuzimu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me tell you someone this afternoon This word is yours This word is yours John saw whatever he saw But when Jesus spoke The first thing he said do not be afraid let me say that is your word someone, someone this afternoon Maybe you came here afraid of something You don't know how you're going to make it through something You don't know how your children are going to make it You don't know how you're going to parent this month You don't know where your food is going to come from you don't know what to do with someone who hates you at work. You don't know about someone who wants you dead. You don't know what to do. But God is saying this afternoon. Do not be afraid. I am the first. Do not be afraid. I am the first. I am the living one. But now I'm alive And I hold the keys Hallelujah He has the keys Someone who has the keys 
means he can open anywhere. Any place that is locked, he opens. Sometimes this young man has the keys of this place. So when you come here, you need the person who has the keys to open the places that are locked. I want to remind you someone this afternoon that Jesus has the keys. The keys to our destiny. The keys to our purpose. The keys to our healing. Come on, lift his name high. Worship his name. Exalt his name. Big him a big hand, clap a big one. Leave this place with your head high. The Bible tells us we don't walk by sight. For us who are in the faith, we don't walk by sight. We walk by faith and people don't understand what that is. Because you're like, it is not fixed is going to be fixed. I'm not healed yet, but I know I'm going to be healed. I don't have what I need, but I know I'm going to get it. I don't have to see something for me to believe that I actually have it. Because faith is the evidence of things not seen. Give him one big hand clap as I go to say. A God bless you so much. God bless you so much.